so this is question number 11 where we are told excess dilute hydrochloric acid was added to an alloy of copper and zinc in a beaker uh, so the word here excess is very crucial uh, excess uh, di dilute hydrochloric acid uh, and also note that uh, alloy is a mixture of two metals so we have copper and zinc and uh, among these two two uh, metals that is copper and zinc copper is less reactive uh, so it means that the zinc uh, will react with the with the uh, excess dilute hydrochloric acid and once that happens then uh, what we get is uh, there will be reaction between the uh, dilute uh, uh, excess dilute hydrochloric acid uh, normally what we say is that uh, uh, an acid react with the metal to produce salt and hydrogen uh, so salt uh, plus hydrogen so that those are the product when uh, a metal react uh, uh, hydro, hydro, uh, hydrogen gas uh, when a metal react with uh, an acid uh, so what this means is that uh, uh, copper because copper is less reactive it will not react uh, so what will be the the, the 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 observation here one we note that uh, there is a production of gas that is hydrogen gas so we we'll say uh, we will observe a uh, production of gas depending on how the the, the setup is done uh, maybe maybe you can say you will be able to see bubbles uh, which we also call it in another name if if uh, yeah, that is a uh, fast or we can always we also call it fizzing fizzing so that's an observation then because we are talking of uh, a solution here uh, which is uh, sodium we have uh, sodium chloride uh, that is zinc chloride uh, uh, so we have a colorless solution this is another uh, colorless solution uh, we have a, an observation then because copper will not uh, react uh, then we have uh, brown residues Uh, the remains of copper after uh, zinc react with the excess dilute hydrochloric acid part B we are told uh, excess aqueous uh, sodium hydroxide was added to 2 cm cube of solution contained in the obtained in the reaction up there write an uh, an, uh, an ionic equation for the reaction that occur so you note that uh, we also have the word excess which is very important so inside the solution uh, which we will be obtained here that solution it has zinc ions so this uh, 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 zinc, zinc ions will react with the will react with the hydroxide uh, that is uh, sodium hydroxide and this will be the 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 the, the uh, ionic e equation so we have the zinc ions which uh, we write like that we add to the ions of uh, the sodium hydroxide which are the hydroxide ions uh, this is aqueous uh, this is a uh, also in aqueous form uh, then this will give us uh, a complex uh, a colorless uh, solution uh, which is a complex ion 
and the formula would be like this so we have zinc we have OH uh, we have uh, close the bracket we have four uh, these are ions complex ions uh, so we have two negative ions so this is known as tetra hydroxyl zinc two ions so we, uh, we, we they are called tetra hydroxyl zinc two ions so that is how you write that uh, equation alternatively you can write it as uh, like this so this is a uh, zinc uh, hydroxide we have there then we have two okay before we do that we need to balance this equation so you write for there so this is a uh, we also add to two OH uh, ions and uh, this is aqueous and uh, this will give us this the same uh, complex uh, ion which is the same formula as we have out there so we have OH we have four complex ions so we have uh, this is two so that's how you answer that question